So listen to this. Google, as you know, owns YouTube. I'm thinking I'm beginning to think it's time for a little bit of a, you know, a monopoly investigation here. You know, this may be violating. They own YouTube. So it's not enough that they fire a guy, one of their own employees, because he expressed wrong think opinions, as Orwell would say. Google has announced will soon be applying tougher treatment. This is YouTube. I'm sorry. We'll soon be applying tougher treatment to videos that aren't illegal, but have been flagged by users as potential violations of our policies on hate speech and violent extremism. That's us, folks. If we find that these videos don't violate our policies, but contain controversial religious or supremacist content that will be placed in a limited state. The videos will remain on YouTube behind an interstitial, won't be recommended, won't be monetized, and won't have key features, including comments, suggested videos, and likes. YouTube has also rolled out a trusted flagger program. Who can flag things so they listen to them? This is 15 expert NGOs and institutions to help them identify hate speech and extremism on their platform. Guess who? The No Hate Speech Movement, a left-wing project pushed by the Council of Europe, as well as the Anti-Defamation League, an organization whose president has been accused of manufacturing outrage by the World Jewish Congress. YouTube is also planning to artificially alter its search results so that searchers for sensitive topics on YouTube no longer return the most popular videos, but a playlist of curated YouTube videos that directly confront and debunk violent extremist messages that is me you know i mean here's here is why i say there's a pony under all this horse tongue they wouldn't have to do this what they're trying to do is they're trying to create an emperor's new clothes environment if nobody is allowed to speak you may think that other people share your opinion but you may feel like no maybe it's just you i mean have you ever been in a room where everybody's sitting around saying oh that movie i just saw game of thrones i love game of thrones and you think game of thrones is terrible you know i mean this is one of the things we all love about shapiro is shapiro will go like eh, i don't like that you know he'll he'll come out and say it i'll come out and say it but a lot of people won't they'll just keep their opinions to themselves thinking they're the only one where really oftentimes when you express your opinion other people start to say yeah, you know, I kind of agree with that. So what Google is trying to do and what all of the left is trying to do is they're trying to create an emperor's new clothes atmosphere where nobody is willing to say the emperor is naked. They wouldn't have to do that if the emperor weren't naked. They wouldn't have to do that if there were no such thing as truth and if truth didn't have an amazing power. Now, listen, you can suppress the truth. You can stomp on the human face forever. As George Orwell said, you can stomp on the human face forever. But at some point, if you don't have the ability to stomp, if you don't have the violent rights, if you are restrained by the First Amendment, if you are restrained by a free market where they can come out and compete with Google and compete with YouTube and break up monopolies, eventually the truth truth will out. You know, when it comes to this thing about sexism, a growing number of millennial women are saying, forget about this. Forget about it. You know, and it's not it's not that they don't want to be equal. It's not that I, we want people to be equal and treated fairly. And we want people to have loving, you know, relationships and partnerships and all this. But in 1994, in 1994, 42% of high school seniors felt that the best family was one where the man was the outside achiever and the woman took care of the home. In 2014, that had gone up to 58%, almost 60% of millennials believe this. In 1994, 48% of high school seniors said a mother who works cannot establish as warm and secure a relationship with her children as a mother who does not work. In 2014, the share disagreeing went up to about 60%. The abandonment of the home. Look, homemaker is the most important profession. C.S. Lewis said this. It is the profession that every other profession is designed to support and protect. When you look around and you see obesity, when you see spreading depression, that is because mom is not around. A lot of that, I think, is because mom is not around. The truth will out. Google would not have to fire people if they weren't afraid of the truth. Google would not have to censor people if they weren't afraid of the truth. YouTube would not have to censor people if the truth did not have power. It is there. It has power. And